Hi, I'm Jeff Snell, Superintendent of Vancouver Public Schools. I'm coming to you from the Fort Vancouver National Historic Site. Not far from here, the graduating class from Fort Vancouver High School is preparing to make their own mark on history. But before they're gone, we ask them about their time in school and what it means to them. I'd say as of now, it was Keith Norris. Like I've known him since my sixth, no, fifth grade year when I got into the little band program. He's been very supportive. Like I've known him like all these years. And to this day, he's just still been very supportive of my like music career and my pathway and stuff like that. No matter how crazy or, or stupid it sounds, you know. I think uh, Mrs. A, Mrs. Azcarraga, uh, she's a Spanish teacher here, so yeah. Uh, for Vancouver was my first year in any school, I mean, here in the USA. So she helped me a lot going through that because I didn't know English at all. So she really helped me out with that. So far, I feel like it's been Miss Prony at Fort. She's always been helpful and always been pushing me to do better and always get my grade up. So far, my favorite teachers at Fort has been Schnacky and Corpella. I can't pronounce his name, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, the personality, definitely. They're not like strict, they're very go with the flow, very fun teachers to have. My favorite staff member from BPS would probably be Carrie Newton, my kindergarten teacher. Well, she, I, my, me and my little brother both had her, and she just made an impact on my family. I don't know, she was, she was very, she was a very sweet teacher. I think yearbook especially because it was like, like Mr. Schmidt says, it's like managing a McDonald's where it's like, <laughs> you have to keep all your little ducks in a row and make sure they're like doing what they're supposed to do. And then it's fun because you're friends with them, but then it's hard when they're not doing what you need them to do because then you have to tell them and you don't want to like, so working on, I guess, um, assertiveness was really helpful in yearbook. Uh, the teachers at Cascadia prepared me because I do uh, carpentry. And right after high school, I'm about to join uh, Interior Finish, starting out at $20 an hour. So I feel like that'll start me off at a good start. Um, well, I'm in the medical magnet. Yeah. And my freshman year, what my teacher did is um, we had like different stations and it'd be like different medical fields. Yeah. And I found what field I wanted to do through that, like looking at different options. That really helped me decide what I wanted to do. The one thing that was fun is when one of my other teachers recommended a program called Cascadia. Yeah, yeah. And I did that and that was really fun and helped me a lot. I think my best moment was probably prom last year. It was at the Timber Stadium and that was really cool. My P, my P class, and uh, this year it's been really cool. I really like it, being laughing the whole time okay. with my friends. I really like that is one. It, whenever we did something that felt special, like field trips were really fun because like you would get to walk around with your friends before the field trip and there was like, and then doing the yearbook also. So I'm a yearbook editor with one of my best friends, so that's cool. Please go to every class, don't skip. Make sure you take all the important classes first. Do not be afraid to ask for help. Uh, that's the other thing that you know many people struggle with, which I personally I did. So yeah, don't be afraid because I know there's a lot of people here, staff, and even friends that can help you out with that. Advice I would give is to try hard freshman year, because if you try hard your freshman sophomore year, then most likely your senior year you'll get free periods and it'll go like a breeze. Take care of yourself and don't kill yourself over grades because. They're important, but if you're trying your best, like no one else, like people can't expect more than that from you. Like, and if they are, then you give them a good talking to because yeah. you come first. And I mean, at the end of the day, it's grades. So I'd say um, I'm planning on working at the hospital with my father so I can like, 
start getting into that kind of field. And then on the side, I'll probably do like music stuff. If it does get anywhere, then it goes somewhere and then I'll figure it out along the way. But for the most part, I like to kind of dive into like hospital work. Um, well, after high school, I'm going to St. Martin's and I'm studying exercise science to, and then eventually I'd like to become a physical therapist. Uh, my life and career after high school, I'm going to do interior finish in carpentry. And then after that, I'd like to open up my own business and buy my own house. For the most part, I'm very hopeful. It's definitely going to go somewhere. I've been getting a lot of support so far, so I think it's going to go pretty well. I think I'm unrealistically hopeful. <laughs> I, just, I love optimism. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to be in debt, but it's just like, you know, there's this like little voice that's telling me that it'll be fine, and one day I will make like more than the minimum wage. I'm very hopeful because I have very good goals, and I'm very uh, driven. I'm pretty hopeful. I have a pretty set plan of what I want to do. And I feel like definitely with the medical magnet, that's, they've helped me a lot decide like what I want to do and what I want to be. What a thoughtful group of young people. I know that wherever their journeys lead them, they'll continue to make Vancouver proud. Congratulations to the Fort Vancouver class of 2023.